what is up everyone welcome back with another video as most of you yesterday voted for how to speed up your iphone video this one is gonna be about that and i'm gonna show you and walk you through all of the things that is gonna be needed for this so a few things may need a jailbreak for this other does not so we're gonna go through all of these together here so starting first with the non jailbroken thing so all you have to do is just go to the setting if you are on ios 12 or ios 13 this will work on either devices and you want to go to the search and search for something called reduce white point and you're going to find it under the section of uh, display accommodation or the display in uh, accessibility so you want to find accessibility uh, you can just do it manually here without searching and you find here display or display accommodation if you are on ios 12 and you want to scroll all the way down to you see reduce white point you want to enable that and make sure you set it as high as you can and uh, this will immediately affect the speed of your device and you're gonna notice that especially with the control center uh, starter that may happen on my device uh, 11 pro max so we are here not only reducing the brightness but we also reducing the white point that you are seeing on your screen as you can notice here the difference is a huge this will help you 100 percent with your battery also it's going to help you with the speed of your device and you're going to notice that also if you want to uh, do it as a shortcut you can uh, three times press the power button and you're gonna see it will enable and disable the will reduce white point so all you have to do is go to the accessibility all the way down you're gonna find accessibility shortcut now to the important part of this video which is uh, the jailbreak part and this will 100% speed up your device so in this part we are not gonna use a tweak that will constantly run in the background also if you didn't watch my tutorial on how to jailbreak the link will be in the description below you can jailbreak almost any device uh, on any ios version except uh, ios 13.5.1 now we're gonna go to the app store and the tweak name is app store plus plus or app admin if you are on ios 12. now that you know the name of the tweak what is the function of that tweak it's pretty simple you can now downgrade your apps to any version that you want so what is the purpose of that so i can simply just tell you that apple and the developers are ignoring the older devices so you have to downgrade to a version that supported or optimized for your device so you can hold on any icon as you can see here you're gonna find the downgrade section and you're gonna choose the version that you want so you're gonna ask me which version that i'm gonna pick up from this mess that you see on the screen so i'm gonna tell you really simple all you have to do is just hold on the uh, update icon after you installed the tweak which i'm going to be leaving in the description you want to hit on manual install instead of downgrading and upgrading and it's going to send you to this website so here's the important part that you need to focus on in this video so uh, you're going to keep in mind the device that you are using for example iphone 7 or iphone uh, 6s or whatever that you use and you're gonna scroll down and you will notice that iPhone 6s released in 2015 and you want to scroll all the way down till you see 2015 and you're gonna notice all of these versions um, that released on 2015 and 16 is gonna be 100% optimized for iPhone 6s and um, the developer of the apps uh, are focusing on that device on that year so that will be 100% uh, optimized and now once you copy the build of that version that you want you want to paste it here uh, and i'm going to show you that i'm just going to repeat it so you want to hold or long press and you want to manually install you're going to send you or redirect you to this website it's going to take a few seconds here so i noticed that i'm using the slow wi-fi i switched to a faster one now 
And once the page is uh, loaded, you want to find, as I said, the specific version for that app that is supported for your device. And uh, I'm here choosing a random one. So you want to find the build, hit on copy and hit on done. You're going to see here it's already copied. If it's not, uh, paste it and hit install. And it's going to uh, ask you to install. Enter your Apple ID or your face ID or wherever for the app to install and wait a few seconds it might ask you this if you are using hotspot hit download and and it's gonna downgrade the app to the specific year that you chose or specific version that you chose hit download and it's gonna download just like that now you want to do that or apply it to all of your apps so i know that sounds like a hustle but you will 100% get good result after you've done that and I tried it on my iPhone 6 and that's why I'm telling you that uh, otherwise I would not so 100% it will speed up your phone also all of the apps that you see here uh, like most of them I don't use frequently so I recommend you deleting the apps that you don't use frequently also try keep making at least 20 to 25% uh, available storage on your device so to check that all you have to do is go to the setting general and go to the um, iphone storage uh, and you're going to notice at the top the used space or the free space you want to keep the free or available space at least 25 percent of your storage now let's say you downgrade it to a version that you don't like uh, you can screenshot the previous version that you have and so that you can restore uh, to that in the future if you don't like the downgraded version and if you want to take all of this uh, speed up your phone to the next level you're going to download animation p fast plus for ios 13 or speed intensifier for ios 12 and you're going to notice uh, the open uh, app speed also the menu will appear just quick as you can see here and really cool stuff with the uh, animation be fast and it's optimized for ios 13. now quick recap to what i said in this video first thing uh, reduce white point second thing downgrade your apps third thing delete the unwanted apps the fourth thing enjoy your speed i hope you enjoyed see you another one bonus thing for those who lasted to the end of this video if you change your battery and i actually did for my iphone 6 and i'm using it now for almost uh, two weeks i guess 100 percent difference like the open speed the launch app or whatever significant change that you should definitely consider if you have an older devices so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video see you in another one and peace